guys, it's Kasamba, aka Abundantly and Mary, and today I'm coming to you with a movement vlog. I currently go to college in Massachusetts and I'm from Atlanta, so I'll be traveling today, a couple of planes, and a very long ride. So before we get started, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post because I plan to post very often. So I'm currently in the Hartsfield Atlanta Jackson Airport. Um, my flight doesn't leave until 8.10 and it's about 7.15 now, um, so I am just going to chill. But just to show you guys my outfit, I'm wearing my Call Her Daddy sweatshirt. I love this podcast, 1010 Recommend. It's so good. It's hilarious. And it's just basically girl talk um, in a podcast. Um, I have this headband on to try to match my black jean jacket, some black leggings, and my checkered bands. And I have my class ring on and my regular ring. <laughs> Baltimore. I know I'm a little muffled just because I have two masks on, but my flight to Boston leaves in about 30 minutes. Maybe. Just kind of relax, look out the window. I was going to listen to music, but I have so much going on in my ears right now and it's really hurting, so I'm not going to do all that. But yeah, that's just a quick little update. I am now boarding my flight to Boston. This little jet bridge thing is really cold. <laughs> He has our little school mask on. We are excited and pumped and ready to go to campus. Okay. So when I get to the campus, I have to check into my campus common, I don't even know what you call Hogan to be honest, but I have to check in there, get my test, get my food, and I can go move in. The way Isaiah literally knows Flamelli songs from top to bottom is hilarious. No, she's honestly great. Like, little underwater tunnels about this airport always freak me out because it's like first of all how did you guys build these good things in my mind seem to take a step out get your hand out let your edge out i don't own any copyrights but why is it so hard to accept the party is over? You can reach your new friends and her mom jeans and her new pants and she's perfect and I hate it. Oh, so glad you made it. I'm so glad you could come back. Somebody get the taco. Somebody spark the blunt. Let's start the knuckles off the episode one. Bring the gin, got the juice. So we have made it to Worcester. I'm really excited. Um, I have to see if I can move my move-in time. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm in the car, but I'm trying to see if I can move my move-in time from what I originally scheduled, which was the three to four, to the two to three, because I got almost a half an hour earlier than what it was supposed to, so I'm trying to see if I can work around that, but we'll see. So we have made it. We are turning the little roundabout now. I'm so excited, Isaiah is excited. We are ready to move in. Let's do this thing. The famous College Street Hill. Woo Upper campus, remember? Yeah, yeah. We so we can't, this is where we normally would go, but because we have to do a lot of different things, we're gonna go upper campus, but. There's nobody the walking. Good, good. They're probably all there. That's all right. This is the school for, oh, wow. So this is our newly renovated Joe. Yes, it's open. Oh, it's open. wow, it looks test. nice. I got my test in there the other day. It really 
We are entering campus. Yeah, with two New Yorkers. Yes, sir. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm missing everybody. Oh, there's so many people here. Last semester, it was super empty. It was only like 200, 300 kids oh, here, yeah. and that was about 1,500. So I'm a little bit Look nervous, but I'm oh, excited Jesus. to meet new people. I'm excited to meet my roommate. So I'm stay tuned. Scared. So, great thing, um, they are gonna let me move in earlier than when I did, so I'm gonna go get my test, and then I'm gonna go move in. I'm really excited. I just, I can't wait. I'm happy to be out of the house, happy to be on campus, and I'm just really excited to meet everybody and just have a good semester, so. So, I'm finally in my room. It was a little bit hassly. I had to figure out like how to get up here, if the elevator worked or whatnot, but here's my roomie. Oh my god. Me and Luna literally have been talking for like what? No, 200 days? Like, yeah. Yeah, so this is literally the bestest. And Fine you know, we got Isaiah in the cut and he's gonna help me move my stuff up. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me as me and Luna unpack and get into this. So I left my room for a second just because uh, two of my other friends live in the same dorm as me. So this is ignore that mess. We're all moving in. This is Carla. This is Jean, and we live like I know we live very close to each other. They're just like uh, I'll show. So they're in like the the west wing. I'm in the south wing or whatever. So yeah, I just want to say hi. And I'm about to go back to my room to go unpack because I have been avoiding it since I put my stuff in my room. So as you can see, Carla and Sajin's room is that way and then you go this way. And then here's the rest of my dorm. Very big. It's about all, most of the freshmen on campus live in this dorm, which is why it's so big and it's four floors. So imagine four floors of this. <laughs> and here is where me and Luna's room is. So I'm currently just chilling. I'm waiting for one of my friends to bring the box that I had for storage. So it has all my bedding, all that stuff in it. So right now I'm just laying on all of my clothes that I've separated because that box also has all of my hangers. So right now I'm just chilling, watching my roommate like fully unpack her room. And um, yeah, but as you can see, we put lights on. They look super so nice. nice. They look so nice. So I'm really excited. Thank you. So my friend Sam finally brought my box that has my bedding, my lights, pretty much everything I need to like fully move in, like hangers and things like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and finally do that. Finally ready to get some bedding on my bed because I've been sitting here on a bare bed all day. Oh, look who came to visit. It's this me. is Catherine. Well, um, she lives like, where do you live? Like, I live, she lives on the other side of the dorm. Live. But it's okay because since we're on the same floor, we can visit each other. Yes. COVID wise, I don't, honestly, I don't um, really know the protocols yeah. <laughs> what we're supposed to do, but she also lives near Carla and Sajin. So it is the next day. Um, I finally moved everything in. I'll show you guys that when I get back. I came to get my food for today. Technically my test hasn't come back negative, but they sent us an email saying that even if it hasn't, you can just go and pick up your food, which is what I'm gonna go do. And then I'll get back and show you everything in my room. I finally put all my stuff on hangers. I finally put my bedding in, kind of filled in the little drawers and stuff behind me, so. So here is my quote unquote completed room. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail because I'll be posting a room tour a little bit later on, but here's all my things in the closet. My shoes are down there. This is where I put all of my clothes and things like that. Here's that. I don't really make my bed, so don't judge me. And here's all of my small things like deodorant and shower stuff. Here's my shoes and yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. I am done. I should be posting a room tour soon and a lot more things to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that bell button. And thank you all for watching.